And I'm back at the Circus Maximus. I am exhausted after having walked over at least four of Rome's hills, gone around the Forum, the temples, all the stuff that you've seen. And down there at that intersection, just around the corner, is a fantastic little bar. Now, a bar here is not the same as a bar in the States. This bar, you can buy sandwiches, you can buy pasta, you can buy pastries, you can buy fresh fruit. I'm going to show you the sandwich in a second. Just a little vignette from the Circus Maximus. There's a gentleman throwing a ball to his dog, and the dog is having the time of his life. They passed me earlier, and even the dogs bark in Italian. It was Arfeo. Arfeo. And as promised, here's the sandwich. It is very delicious. Cheese, two kinds of lettuce, a fish patty fried of some kind, and a really good bread. This is a great place for a picnic. Really great. The view is, well, <laughs> not your everyday view, unless of course you happen to live here. Just a little vignette from the Circus Maximus. There's a gentleman throwing a ball to his dog, and the dog is having the time of his life. They passed me earlier and even the dogs bark in Italian. It was Arfeo. Arfeo. In this ancient city, with all its ruins and everything else, they still have to get rid of garbage. Check out the way cool garbage cans they have here. They're so awesome. Decorative, functional, tough as nails. Wow. The Romans know how to get rid of trash or what? The way they ride here is really quite different. Just such a sharp contrast to what I'm used to. But they really move. Like I said, they almost create their own rules. And you'll see just about everything on a bike here too. And you'll see the bikes do just about anything like that. You don't have a lane? Ah oh, hell, make one. <laughs> 